All right, hey everyone. So today we're gonna to talk about cleaning our firearms, right? So a few key things in cleaning our firearms. Um, we'll discuss them. We'll also discuss a few uh, safety things, equipment, you know, maintenance and whatnot. So when do we know when it's time to clean our firearm? Let's start with that. So we can determine when it's start to time to clean our firearm. Normally the thing for most of us that we kind of determine when it's time to clean our firearm is we notice a change in the performance of the gun. So we start to uh, recognize the change in the performance. Maybe the gun's running a little gritty or maybe we feel the mechanisms in the gun. Like if you just listen to that or even look here like if I go here and I put the gun um, halfway, I release the slide and I just slide it a little bit and I take my hand off it, it shouldn't be stuck like that. Like the spring should make this thing go forward. Okay? So simple things like this, I start to notice a decrease in the quality of the performance of the gun. And um, at that point we can inspect certain things. I can lock the slide back, I can look in and inspect on the inside of the chamber and see if on the feed ramp of the chamber here, if I can see a lot of carbon build up and whatnot. So I can do a visual inspection, uh, among other things, I can look inside the, the channels of the slide here and see if I start to see sand or grit or different types of build up of, of material. Um, whether it's debris from the environment or it's the, the carbon buildup from shooting the gun. So we can start to recognize a change in the performance. Now, if there's a drastic change, another thing that we want to do is when we go to clean the gun, we will actually want to inspect the gun to make sure that the, the change of performance isn't uh, mechanical, but it's actually just that the gun's dirty. So, um, or it could just be that the gun needs to be lubricated. So maybe it's not dirty, maybe it's just really dry. So there's different things we're going to look for here when we go through the cleaning process while we're cleaning the gun. So the first thing we're going to do in actually cleaning the gun. So the first thing we're going to do when we go to clean the gun is we want to clear and safe the weapon if we haven't already. So anytime we pick the gun up we want to check the condition of the gun. Standard operating procedure for uh, clearing the gun and cleaning the gun. So first thing we want to do whenever we're working on the gun, cleaning the gun, doing anything with the firearm is we always want to know the gun's condition. So the first thing we want to do here in getting started is we want to clear and safe the firearm. First thing we're going to do is remove the magazine. Most important step, first step. Then what we're going to do is lock the slide to the rear. Okay, on this gun we happen to do it with our slide lock right here. So I lock the slide to the rear, keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. I look and get a visual inspection that there's no uh, bullet in the chamber and that there's no magazine. So from here I can determine that the gun is clear and safe. Okay, and now we can get started. So the next thing we want to do is have the right equipment in place to do our cleaning. So uh, we got to set the stage for, for doing our work. So I'm going to run through this real quick. So. When I'm cleaning the gun, I usually like to have something to drink. This isn't a product promotion. I just like to have something to drink. I normally like to have music playing, set the ambiance so we can get focused here and work. Aside from that, a few key things that we want to have in the process of cleaning our gun. Now, my number one go-to cleaning thing is probably Q-tips. Um, you can never have enough Q-tips. These are great. Everyone, I think you all know what Q-tips are, so these get in all those hard to reach places inside the firearm. We're going to have some cloths or paper towels to wipe off the grease and grime and to put the gun on. So when we're cleaning our table, I like to do it on a plastic table versus a wood table so we don't destroy our, our furniture or if you have a metal table that works great too. We can have uh, a wire brush right and we can have a plastic bristle brush these are good for scraping off some carbon uh, I find these a little bit more useful when we're cleaning the rifles but it's always good to have them you can have a scribe what I've found is I have this little uh, crossbow 
and it has these arrows for it. This little metal arrow tip works awesome as a scribe. This is one of my favorite tools for scraping off that carbon and getting in those really tight spots. A, um, the scribes and like dental tools work really well, but with that hook, or they have those crazy angles, but this one for just going straight into something, this is really good for just getting in there and getting that grime off, and we'll show you that here in a minute, you'll see it. So the other thing that we can have is we want to have some kind of cleaner, we call it CLP, cleaner lubricant and protectant. Um, there's a lot of different companies that make this. Uh, Tetra has gotten behind us and, and donated a lot of uh, cleaning supplies to us. It's worked great. There's some other companies out there that have like organic or chemical free cleaners, which are really good. Um, we have a dry lubricant. So this is good for the inside of the barrel, and we'll get to that in a minute when we get to that section, but a dry lubricant's good if you're working in like a really dusty or sandy environment, because obviously if we over lubricate with a wet lubricant, all the dust and dirt sticks to it like a shake and bake. So a dry lubricant's good uh, for those kind of conditions. <clears throat> we can have some plastic or rubber gloves if you want to keep your hands clean, some people are more finicky about that. I know it's not good to have solvents on your hands and all that. Depending on what product you're using will determine uh, if, the, if the chemicals are actually bad for you or not. But other than that, uh, some people just don't like getting their hands all dirty. Um, then we also have our cleaning patches. So these patches here, these will help us in the process of cleaning the inside of the barrel. So we use these to run through the barrel to get all the carbon out of the inside of the barrel and again we'll get there in a minute <clears throat> we have uh, different little cleaning kits that you guys can pick up you know this one again is from Tetra and this comes with our um, our bore punches bore brushes uh, little cleaning rods for running that and we'll get to that uh, but some gun grease and more you know CLP and bore solvent. So again, we'll get to this stuff in a minute, but these are just some of the basics for um, for cleaning your gun. Now, if you're on the go, Otis makes this cool little kit. And again, I'm not necessarily trying to promote any particular brand, but this is actually what I have here at the house that I'm using to clean my guns with. So Otis makes a cool little kit. This just goes in your bag or goes on your belt. It opens up and it has like a little cleaning kit on the go that you can just pack pack out and it has all the essential supplies in there for a quick cleaning while you're on the range or in the field or, or whatever. But the nice thing with this is you see all this stuff all laid out. This is a nice little kit that um, obviously after you do it, you have to repack it. One second. but you can just put that in your bag and it's easy to take with you. So a couple of the supplies that we want to have before we get started. And um, these are just a couple of the, of the basics. One other thing that's really good to have, which isn't here in this room, but if your gun gets wet and you're training outside and it's raining or it gets really sandy, anything major, uh, one of the things that I'll do before I come in here to clean is I can use a uh, air compressor with like the air nozzle on it that does the high pressure air. And if I have a lot of sand or water or anything like that on the gun, I can blow the gun off, blow all the, the initial sand, the initial dirt off, all the loose stuff. I can get all that out with the high pressure air hose. That works really good to then come in and have a baseline to then start working with on the detail stuff. So that's a quick overview of some of the uh, tools and necessary items that we're gonna need to clean our pistol. 